Hey guys, this is Callum from English Eating and welcome back to the channel. Something very different for today's video, but following on from the building your own lockdown range, this is again something that you could be doing at home for training purposes while you can't get out to the range and it's a, a laser indoor range made by a company called Point Blank Simulator and they very kindly sent us all the gear for us to set up and have a go. Now, I did want to do a full review of this system, but for various reasons, and I'll get into that in a second, this is more of a general overview. But I believe this is the cheapest system that you can buy on the market today. And cheap doesn't necessarily mean bad. Actually, in all of the systems that I've tried like this, this does seem to be one of the better ones with a plethora of different ranges and stages and training drills that you can do. Again, more than I've seen in any other simulator. So the basic setup that you can buy is only 150 pound to get started and that's for the camera. Granted, that's assuming that you have your own projector and you have a computer that's powerful enough to run it, obviously that's gonna set you back a little bit, but if you do already have that, then it's 150 pound for the camera and then 30 pound a month subscription for the actual software. And this is what you get. You can use a variety of different guns. So uh, we've been told this is the sort of more industry standard, the CERT, uh, blank fire laser guns. Uh, so it's already set up and configured. So you can go through all the, all the menus. Now something to note and that you're gonna see as I'm going through this, it might seem a little slow. That's because you do require an internet connection to be able to use this. And we're in the studio here, unfortunately there's no Wi-Fi, so we're running off the phones in the middle of the countryside. So things are a little slow, but we've been told if you have a good Wi-Fi connection, it is absolutely rapid. So you can see here, this is your main menu. You've got your different packages you can choose. Now, the competition and drill packages, I believe, are add-ons. Uh, and you get the uh, plinking and the static and dynamic as standard. So the drill and competition packages, I believe they're about 10 pound extra a month and you can add them and take them away as you please. So if one month you wanna do more drills, then you add that on and not the competition and then vice versa. But let's have a look at the, the competition package. So this is themed for both uh, sort of military and police training, hence the drills, but also IPSC uh, shooting and practice so hence the uh, the competition packages so let's just choose one of the, the stages you can see how many stages you've actually got so you're not going to get bored you're not going to get um, fed up of the same stage over and over again and let's just pick a, a random one and we can go through you've got a pedal set below you as well which helps you navigate the stages you can see that we have two guns possibly to be able to do this stage. We do have a host of uh, sort of airsoft ARs uh, that you can use and you can also use standard airsoft pistols as well with a laser adapter. But we found that this is by far the most reliable. You don't get any recoil from it. It is completely solid, but you can still practice um, your reload with it. It comes with a variety of magazines so you can practice all those all those drills. So the first thing that you're gonna do, and it's pretty easy and easy to do it between shooter and shooter if you've got a few friends having a bit of a competition, is you're gonna need to calibrate the gun. There is some setup and calibration before of this, and I'll get into that in, in a minute. But this is what you're gonna be doing regularly between shooters just to make sure that it's all set up for each individual. So let's go through the stage and see um, how we run it. Again, you can use the foot pedals to move about, or you can shoot the arrows. It is quicker to use the foot pedals. Obviously, it is simulating running up to a stage and you can be shooting at targets as you're running up, as you would be able to do in a normal stage. And use the foot pedal to progress. So 
a long one this one. The great thing is then you can go through and review it. Um, it also does give you your full score, obviously not the best for that one, but you can see all of the standard IPSC scoring, and then you can actually go through the stage and review every single shot that you've taken. Obviously there's a few targets, so it's gonna take a while to get through, but you get the idea, you can go through, see where you've struggled, see where you can improve. It does that for every single target. The other thing with this as well is, is in terms of simulating real world, you can choose different ammunition. So it simulates the uh, ballistics of each different ammunition. So again, if you're, say for competition, you're using 125 grain, you're gonna get used to how that shoots at distance versus a 135 grain. You can also have different start conditions. So you can you know, simulate and practice you know, drawing and loading the magazine. You can put in magazine changes in there. So it is really, really good for an advanced dry drill. And I have to say both Connors and I have done a number of stages and used it for a fair amount of time over the week that we've had it. Um, and it is a fantastic training aid. What I think it's absolutely fantastic for is familiarization with your gun. So obviously drawing it from the holster, getting your grip, presenting the gun, magazine changes and things like that. It's all well and good sat there in your bed or stood there in your bedroom doing it, which is gonna be some great practice during this period. But to actually have something to shoot at and to have something that's recording and measuring you, again, this is probably more for the, the drill section, but you, you get timed on you know, getting the pistol up and getting those first shots on. And that's something that even though that this doesn't have recoil, your time to first shot, it doesn't really matter if you're gonna be using one of these cert pistols or the real thing. Everything is going to be very, very similar. You're going to be able to improve on getting that grip, getting your sight picture. What I think also this is gonna be even better for is action air shooters, because with the laser adapters that you can get, this is uh, Connor's own action air pistol. It's a, a high capper, very standard uh, action air gun. This is what he uses for competition. So to be able to use this with the system, again, he's going to be getting more familiarization with the gun, getting used to getting that grip and getting that sight picture and getting on target. Unfortunately, what lets this system down, and it's very common with all of the laser systems, are the guns that are available to use. Even the CERT pistol, which I said was the industry standard, we found that the trigger can be a little bit intermittent um, and it can get quite frustrating. You're there pulling it, you know you're pulling it, you know you're on target and nothing is coming up uh, on, uh, on the screen or it's not registering it. And again, even with the, the airsoft guns and the action air guns, you're using a lot of uh, gas. You're, you're gonna go through tons of it if you're using this day in, day out. And again, we found that the actual uh, laser modules themselves can be a little bit intermittent. So unfortunately, the system itself, the software, and the selection of stages that you can have are absolutely brilliant, but the guns are going to be the weak point of it. So I talked about setup. Setting it up is fairly straightforward, but I can't fully review that because we're actually using a demo version, a development version. So the way that we had to set it up was very, very different to how you would at home. We have been um, sort of explained that it's a very simple process. Once you've gone online and you've paid for the subscription, it's just pretty much a one click download and there will be an automatic installer. The only thing you'll then have to do is actually calibrate the camera. So you have to make sure that the aperture is correct so it's not too dim or not too bright. The process for doing that is fairly straightforward. You then use the alignment to calibrate where it's shooting um, before you get into this system. Again, that's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. And then as I showed you at the beginning, you use the calibrate to be able to make sure that the pistol is or rifle is completely on target. And again, between two different shooters, you are gonna to have to recalibrate it in this menu, but it doesn't really take very long. So for certainly for a bit of fun and entertainment for a shooting family, you're gonna spend hours on something like this and you are gonna get incredibly competitive. And there are many aspects that are going to help with 
training at home that are, is gonna supersede just doing dry drills in your bedroom. So if you are looking to take that home training to the next level, I could highly recommend a system like this. As I said, it, this is, today is more of a general overview. We're hoping to be able to, to get a system permanently and then I should be able to take you through the whole process from start to finish. And then once we've got, say, some more reliable guns, uh, you might be able to see more competitions between Connors and I here, um, or anybody that wants to come and, uh, and try it out and uh, you know, put them to the tests. But yes, again, overall pretty impressed. Certainly for lockdown at the moment, if you're really, really bored, then this thing is gonna be an absolute godsend. And again, if you don't have a garden, you live in a flat, this isn't noisy, it's quite compact, it all packs down into to one box and then you can set it up each time when you, uh, when you fancy it. So yeah, go and check out Point Blank Simulator. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, the, the guys there are absolutely awesome, couldn't be more helpful and they really are dedicated in producing the best system they can. They've told us that it's already being used by special forces within the UK um, and they're very much hoping that IPSC shooters looking for more training options at home are gonna pick it up as well. But go on the website, have a look at the packages, have a look at what's available um, and see for yourself. But yeah, I'm hoping at a future date to be able to do a more in-depth review. But there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and found it interesting. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed for future videos. And as always, guys, I hope to see you soon. Thank you.